Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a car freshie with three different colors. You're going to need your cured beads. Make sure they're all nice and dry. You'll also need some mica powder. These are from Amazon and you'll need a 1 8 tablespoon to be able to scoop up the mica powder for the right amount. You'll also need a metal cookie cutter. These are off of Amazon. You'll need three different containers to put your mica powder and the beads in to mix. Also, you'll need a pan. I do use nonstick paper. It works great and a card or you can use a comb. Let's go ahead and get started. Take your metal cookie cutter and place it on a paper. Then take your card and place it on the top of the cookie cutter so we can measure out where you're gonna need to cut it. Once I figure out where I need to cut the card at, I make sure I cut almost all the way to the other end of the card. That way it fits nice into the cookie cutter. Now that the card is all nice and even, we're going to go ahead and measure out all the beads for the three different colors. I'm going to be using a tablespoon to scoop out my beads and pour them into the cookie cutter. It's much easier that way. You can just use a regular spoon if you would like. Once the beads are measured out, I take the cookie cutter off the paper and pour them into the right container of the color. For the second color, I'm going to be using brown, so I'm going ahead and using the card to measure out the beads for the right colors. I'm also going to be doing this on both sides of the cow. To measure out the mica powder, I'm just going to use half of the 1 8 teaspoon because it's not a lot of beads and then I'll add more mica powder if it needs it until all the beads are covered. For the last color I'm going to use, I'm not going to measure with the cards. I'm just basically going through the middle of the cow, and if I need to add more beads later, I will. Next, you're going to take your pan and place the cookie cutter on the pan, and then you're going to take a screw or a nail and place it where you want your hole to be. That way you can hang it from the rear view mirror. Now you're going to take your beads and basically do the same thing when you are measuring them out, except for you're going to take them all and put them in the cookie cutter. After I have filled the cookie cutter halfway, I go and press down the beads to make them even, and then I'll continue to put the rest of the beads in. Now that your design is finished, you're going to place them in the oven for 5 to 8 minutes. Make sure your oven is set to 350 degrees. This is how your freshie should look once it comes out of the oven. Make sure you let it sit and dry completely before you try to remove it from the cookie cutter. When you do remove it from the cookie cutter, it's very easy. You just turn it to the back and press the very back and it should pop right out of the cookie cutter. This 
This is how you refresh your should look once it's out of the cookie cutter. You'll notice around the edges there will be little pieces sticking up. I take my scissors and cut those down. You don't have to, but I like to because it makes it look a lot cleaner. This is how it looks once you cut all the pieces off. Now it's time to put your rope or your string inside your freshie. I use a flathead screwdriver to put mine through. It's so much easier to be able to get the rope through the hole. You can also decorate your car freshie with flowers and ribbons, but this one I'm going to keep blank because it looks cute like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got inspired from this video to make your own car freshies. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.